Hello friends, welcome to another Node.js video tutorial by Perfect Web Solutions. My name is Imran Kasim, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to introduce you a new framework which can be used with Node.js and Express.js and it will generate a skeleton for you which, from where you can build up your application as if you know that for PHP you have like Laravel as a framework, you have Zen framework as a framework, you have Core Igniter and some other useful frameworks for PHP and same goes for Ruby like Ruby have Ruby on Rails and Python have Django so same like that for Node.js and Express.js we have a framework which is very simple very small and elegant which can make simple things easy for you so let me introduce you new Express application generator and you can find it on expressjs.com slash en slash starter slash generator dot HTML or you can google it express generator and get the link direct to this page and here you can find it's getting started how to install basic routing static files hello world application guide with different routing middleways middle how to design middleways how to use them how to do error handling debugging and its API references with which are deprecated as well as which are new advanced topic how to do template engines how to do using different process manager security updates you can find everything here it is a very cool and small uh, I must say skeleton application so it says use the application generator tool express generator to quickly create an application skeleton so how to install it on your computer so make sure first of all that you do have installed node.js and along with node.js you do have npm on your machine as well let me show you how you can check it just open your terminal or command prompt whatever it is and type node minus v and if you do see the version current version which is 8.9.3 and here you can see 8.9.3 lts and then type npm minus v and if you got a version as well 5 plus 5.1 plus then it means you are okay to go so then next what you need to do first open this link find it via google just type express generator and obviously you will get this link and then copy this command npm install express generator minus g copy it although i have already installed it so press enter and it will do some so this one it shows me access permission denied so no problem because i haven't run it with sudo uh, if i want to install something globally i do need my sudo account so i already have installed it I can show you that to check it that whether it's installed successfully on your PC or not just type express minus V and sorry minus version minus minus version and if you do see version 4.1.5 or any latest version when you are watching this video maybe there will be a new version so it means you have successfully installed express generator so let's generate a simple skeleton application before uh, generating let me show you some of its engines like it support different javascript engines like ejs hbs hjs jade pug twig and vash i do have some familiarities with, with twig but i don't know much about others but if you know any of these engines then you can use any of them i'm going to do it with the twig and i will show you how can i make changes using this twig engine so let's install a simple application using twig engine so I will type express minus minus view is equal to twig. So it means create a view skeleton. We create a skeleton with the engine twig and in the folder express or I must say uh, sample app. I just named it sample app in my folder and that's it. And it created this uh, basic skeleton. And after that, you need to go to your folder sample app and then run npm install because it does have a package.json file you see here package.json and this package.json let me open it my let me open it into my code editor which is visual studio code so i simply type in code and dot and it will open inside visual studio code and you see it did install some of the basic skeletons like sorry it just got refreshed because maybe some plugins got updated although it did everything here but because it does not have nodes modules node modules package where from where it can fetch these packages like it do need sample app server and also it do need some other like if we go to index it need express so it will install all those packages from here 
it needs body parser cookie parser debug express morgan server and twig here it is installing twig so let's go to the command line or i can also use visual studio code integrated terminal and it will take me directly to the current folder and i will install here npm install simple is that and now it will create a node modules package and it will install all of the required dependencies and it's done and you can see it created package lock.json and then it created a node modules folder here and all the packages are included here so now our application has been successfully installed next step is we need to run it in debug mode so first you need to run this command or you can run this command right so you can run any of these let me run this one so i will run it in debug mode and let me run it from here so what debug is equal to my app will do and i forgot to put here the name i should put a name my app name here which is sample app so it's running now so i can open localhost 3000 port here localhost colon 3000 and you can see i have successfully installed a working mvc framework using node.js and express.js and now you can modify like you have routes here you have a routes folder you have a views folder from where you have a layout here simple and you have index html file you have error.twig file which shows the error just like any other mvc framework and you have a public folder where you have your static file images javascript style sheets this is the basic style sheet which it, it installed by default where you can make your styling and changes which you want to make and what it will do there is an app.js this is our starting entry point and this will install all the packages everything and run the app, app express and then it will create the views folder just like that everything in the view will be executed so if you see here it says welcome to app and then title whatever in the curly braces here or interpolation i must say it is called a variable which is passed from your uh, route file or js file so in this case index.js is passing here express and if i do express js here then i have to stop the server and start it again because this is not the live server you have to it is not running via webpack or any live server so you have to if you make any changes then you have to stop the server and restart it make sure and then i will reload and you see express.js and welcome to express.js has been changed successfully it have another root which is user and what user do respond with the resource so this one is simply user this one is simply sending a resource and in index.js it is rendering the view so it means if i do i copy this one from here and put it inside here and then i will change index to user so it means now i can create users.twig file inside views like this create new users.twig file and i can copy everything from oh sorry i think my editor got closed so let me run it again i just press q q so it goes to quit sorry for the trouble and now i will copy index.twig and paste it inside user.twig right but if i want to make the changes then i have to make like users and i can put here like a name or whatever username i just put imran kasim which is my name and then i can simply go into user.twig and here i will put name here i will add name and two i will remove it and simply it says welcome so let's run the server again let's go to the browser type localhost 3000 and you have the basics and then you will need to run users and here you will see my name and welcome Imran Qasim so it means if you want to write any HTML you can create first a layout you can add your style sheet like if I want to add a bootstrap I can add it here and these curly brackets is means these are twig delimiters and you can learn more about twig if you don't know or if you know other uh, framework uh, engines you can generate your application using other like in this example here it shows that it can be generated like ejs hbs hjs jade most popular are jade punk twig and wash 
so these are i heard these names already but i am not sure about hgf hbs egs but if you do know them you can use them and you can see here it says default to jade means if you don't specify any engine it will use jade so you can install any of these engines and furthermore if i go to anything if you want to understand anything other like basic route, routing you can learn from here so you see app.post app.get so this app variable is basically if you see inside our user it's saying router not app so basically app is from here you, you see this here it is saying apps dot use slash index app dot use slash user users so this means this index is also creating this index dot tweak file and this users also loading users so if what if i create here like this authors and this one here you see is going, going to variable user router here this smart editor is telling me this user is from routers so where it is configured this routes in the routes file this one so where it is defined you see here it is defined you see just above this where i use this one just go above and you will see here variable and then you can do variable authors is equal to require dot slash routes slash and authors you simply do like this then in your routes just create authors dot js and from index or wherever just copy everything put it inside author dot js and you are good to go and you can make changes like you can put here authors and then create a view new view authors dot quick and uh, sorry for the modification These, those are coming and then, then just copy here this one and this is just a smart copy and paste so we have here again authors and inside authors we have name uh, if I put here perfect web solutions then I have to stop the server and start it again if there is no error I can access authors and authors also returning this let me see why is it or maybe I didn't change it inside this app.js the use authors yeah I didn't change it here authors so it's coming from you see router authors <coughs> sorry save it and reload it of course <coughs> sorry for the cuff I have to stop it and then restart it and after that if I reload it we will get back to our new page so we do have author you can create navigation <coughs> I'm sorry in the layout you can create a navigation block here like any ul and li and whatever you want to create ul li li ahref is equal to slash users users or i can say home and i can call it index users users authors authors you can style it i'm just giving you a demo so you can after that you can style it as you want then stop the server restart the server and you have the links and you can click users authors i think there is some problem i need to rectify it like this one is like this then i have to close it and then restart it restart home user author so you can quickly style it in your style.css file you have in the public style sheet style.css and you can do like ul display flex justify content center and of course again again after making changes break it down restart it and you have like this and furthermore you can do like list style none margin 0 25 pixel stop it start it and oh, I didn't give the margin I think I have given top bottom margin rather than giving 
Ähm, Oh, sorry, I give the margin to the ally, UL. I must give it to UL, ally. And then, let me see, yeah. Now it's fine, it's loading the CSS file, so we have here, a working. Small Node.js and Express.js application running flawlessly, and I'm sure you will love this small skeleton application and as it's mentioned here it is a very good starting point for any new person who's starting to develop node application and want to learn more about node and js then express js then surely they should try this small skeleton script and you can generate good skeleton and then from there you can further enhance your application using routing middlewares template engines error handling debugging express behind proxies moving and database integration even you can do database integration as you can see you can use cassandra couchbase couchdb labeldb mysql mongodb new 4 g oracle postgres sql redis sql server sql lite and all of them have their examples here and you can install their corresponding packages and simply here how you can connect and fetch insert list data basic functionality credit insert and list so the update will also be the same and delete will be same like insert only you need to know the query then you have all of the mongodb like mysql you see here this one is mysql if you are a php developer you should know it already so guys this is a quick small tutorial and i'm sure you will love it if you choose it and do let me know after using it that how much you liked it and if you didn't like it also mention it what are the problems you are facing in it and why you didn't like it please do comment below and if you like this video please press the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do consider and subscribe to it so that you can get notified as soon as i upload new videos or any new series so thank you guys for being with me till end. Take care and bye.